Step up and class him to be fighting Lankovich along. Uh, uh, Harris is a real tough journeyman fighter. Look at this good-looking kid, as strong as they come. Over 200 amateur fights. He was on the 96 Olympic team. He lost to the uh, silver medalist of Tonga, uh, but he won several European championships before moving to the States and moving to Phoenix, Arizona to get ready for his professional career. He has a history of elbow surgery, but since the surgery, he's just uh, really shown a lot of right-hand power. As you take a look at the tail of the tape, these two guys have exactly the same height at 6'4". Uh, Lankovic is 18 pounds heavier, though. He's a bigger guy. Age exactly the same. And you see a slight reach advantage for Lankovic. For the countries that take it on the metric system, or that use the metric system, I should say, around the world, you can figure out that Lankovic is a pretty big, strong guy. The rules here in the state of New Jersey, this fight uh, is uh, sanctioned by the New Jersey State Athletic Control Board. No standing eight count. No three knockdown rule. A fighter cannot be saved by the bell in any round, and only the referee can stop the fight. Jimmy Lennon is set to go, and we're set to go with the next fight of the evening, so let's go to the classiest ring announcer of them all, Jimmy Lennon. Our fans, here we go. Heavy weights in the ring at about scheduled 10 rounds of boxing. Judging at ringside, George Hill, John Potteridge, and John Riley with the third man of the ring. Our referee in charge is Ed Johnson. Introducing to you first on my left, he is fighting out of the blue corner, wearing red trunks with white trim, hailing from Newark, New Jersey. His weight, 217 pounds, his record 18 wins, 12 losses, 2 draws with 9 knockouts. Introducing Maurice Mo Harris. His opponent across the ring on my right, fighting out of the red corner in this 10-round attraction, wearing green trunks with black trim, originally from Belarus, now fighting out of Scottsdale, Arizona. His weight, 235 pounds, a 1996 Olympian, undefeated in his campaign in the professional ranks, with a record of 16 wins, no losses, 10 of his wins coming by way of knockout, introducing Sergei Lakovich. Once again, Ed Johnson, our referee in charge. Bosses, at the moment, please give me your instruction to the dressing room. I was going to get clean and fight. Keep your punches up. This is a little high, but long deal. This will be good shots, okay? Test love, and the bell ring, come out fight. All right, so we're set to go here. Sergey Lykovich and there's uh, big Mo Harris. Mo Harris, by the way, I call him a journeyman fighter. He's no slouch. In May last year, he went 12 hard rounds with Chris Bird for the USBA title. And Chris Bird is the number one ranked uh, heavyweight in the IBF, the awkward southpaw that's a tremendous fighter. So Maurice Harris, who looks a lot like Chris Bird in many ways, uh, is a pretty good fighter. So for Lykovic, in a way, this is a step up in class for him, too. His uh, handle is uh, Scott Audrey and uh, Doug Offerman and the whole crowd that works in the corner with this guy feel like he's ready to fight anybody in the heavyweight division. But you want to be patient with a young fighter to find out just exactly what he can do. He has got a victory over the 98 Olympic gold medalist Audrey Harrison. He defeated him in the amateurs. But this is a good-looking young prospect. And Maurice Harris is a good step up for him because Mo Harris is no slouch and a very tough guy to fight. And if Mikovic is real strong against him, uh, it's indicative of the fact that he's a, a pretty good fighter. He went 12 hard rounds with Friday Aho Nanya his last time out. Prior to that, he took Ed White out to Cincinnati back in June of uh, last year. Wiped out Cedric Fields in the eighth round in April of last year. The previous year, he fought five times. Three of the fights went eight rounds. So Lankovic, as big and strong as he is, he's not really what you would call uh, a tremendous knockout artist, but he has plenty of power. 16 victories, and he does have 11 knockouts, most of them of the TKO variety. Maurice Harris, an interesting guy, he trained with Lennox Lewis for four weeks. He claims that Lewis is in top condition. And because of training with Lennox Lewis, he says, I'm in top condition. He worked with Mike Tyson as well, by the way, as a sparring partner. Right. Here we go. 
And I asked him, uh, you know, with the Tyson Lewis fight coming up next week, what did he think? He said, well, all I can tell you, both of these guys could knock their opponent out, meaning Tyson could knock out Lewis and Lewis could knock out Tyson. But he said, I think that Lewis's power is underestimated. Now, both fighters have certainly enough power to knock each other out. The comments of Maurice Harris. He's a full-time fighter. He says he's in the best shape of his life right now because of all the training he's been doing with Lennox Lewis. Lagovich has a, that Eastern European look at his face, a handsome sort of guy, all business in the eyes, nice jab in the face of Mo Harris, Mo up on his toes, faints a little bit, comes to that half out, uppercut, out, out of there. half left Come hook, on. you hear Eddie right. Johnson say, right out of there. The corner of Legovich saying that uh, Harris is holding. Well, when you get a big, strong guy like Legovich that outweighs him by 18 pounds, he gets in on you. You better grab him and walk him back. You're going to have some trouble. Either that or come with the uppercut inside that Harris can do. But Harris is used to fighting. You know, Lennox Lewis is a much bigger man than he is, too. So he's used to fighting the big guy. Bell ends round number one. That's a sort of a close 10 9 Legovich round. Beautiful boxer, son. All night long, all night long. Let me see it. Read deep. James Ali Bashir, Come on, get this cup out. Charles Pull the cup Thomas, out Don Gibbons worked the corner of this man, Mo Harris. And I, and I really think that Harris is a classier fighter than what Lykovich is used to. Nice boxing, son. Nice boxing. Stay nice and relaxed. You're going back in a straight line a little too much. Keep it in a circle, all right? Okay. You can control him. Jeb, Jeb, yes, sir, you're right to body. Don't just stand there and wait. Yeah. Don't back up and wait around for him. Scott it's going to work. Every time you're hitting him, him not hitting you. When you're waiting, him hitting you. Okay. okay let's go to work now. Okay, stock is out. This guy's never been down in his career. He's got a lot of talent. He's got power with his left hand. He uses that left hook a lot. He'll cover the uppercut sometimes. He's got a pretty good jab. Talking about Lagovich in the green trunks. Right on top of Mo Harris. Harris very clear in the eyes. Thirty-two professional fights is in his thirty-third professional. Oh, no, no, you gotta do something. And Johnson says, hey, you gotta do something. Lagovich is getting tired and chasing Harris. So he goes back, puts his elbows up in the rope and says, come on. And he says, hey, what are you doing? Come on, you gotta do something. The corner of Lagovich complains about Harris holding, but Harris knows exactly how to fight a big guy like this, and you gotta hang on when you get inside like this. It's a question of survival. You don't want to have that guy have his hand loose before you get the kill zone. Digging body shots. A little bit awkward sometimes, uh, Lagovich looks. The hands high, kind of a straight up sort of fighter, as you see. That's it. Throws that right hand a little right, on the man. wide right. side. Watch the push down. Well, Harris says to Lagovich, what are you doing, man? Mo puts his head down, bends down, and Big Lagovich just bends down his body. <laughs> Mo says, hey, what are you doing, man? Hey, it's a fight. Has anyone told you, Mo? <laughs> There's the left hook by Mo Harris. That's what he's been trying to do. Kind of gets Lagovich to, to open his eyes a little bit. Lagovich doesn't want to stand flat foot in front of him. I remember, as I mentioned, this is a step up in class for Lagovich. In spite of the fact that, you know, Mo Harris has 12 losses on his career record. This guy can bang. There, the exchange right hand that time. Mo unloaded the right hand and Lagovich came right back. Mo caught him with a good left hook, and now the act is right now. Right. It's funny, Eddie Johnson saying no holding, he's looking at Legovich like Legovich is holding. And it's Harris who's been doing the holding. Legovich trying to track his man down. When he gets annoyed, he throws his punches in all kinds of awkward positions. He's wide with the right hand. Right. Come on, Drip, he's holding us. That's Scott Audrey might be able to hear in the background saying, can't you get 20 for holding us? He goes inside again. 
<laughs> it's just a strange thing. He holds that hand up behind his head, but he's inside when he turns it back. But, you know, you yeah, used to always hear him say, take this out at all times. Not a bad idea. Sergei does a lot of awkward things, but he never stops throwing punches when he's inside. Closing seconds of the second round. But Mo Harris landed the clean of both of his battles. going to get that round. Boxing beautiful, baby. Boxing beautiful. Keep it like that there. Two of them in the bank. Hey, get the rep over here and tell the guys uh, rabbit punching here, man. I mean, hitting in the kidneys. Hold on. Three people, son. Stay composed. Stay composed. Stay composed. Mm -hmm. Come on, breathe deep. Suck it up. Come on, breathe deep. Look, let me tell you something. Hey, watch one of the better shots during the course of this. Watch Mo Harris now here, the red trunk. Watch his right hand. Watch his front. Watch what the head does. Oh, no, 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 no. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Take it out. Well, I know he landed one. Box. All right, here we go. Round number three. You see it's uh, Harris with that left jab in the face of Lagovic. Lagovic trying to get on top of him, land a big right hand. He comes with the left hand downstairs. Oh, Harris knows exactly how to hold him. Oh, Eddie Johnson yells break again. They separate, and every time he comes inside, Harris grabs him and starts to shuffle him backwards. And now Audrey says, uh, from the corner, when he holds you, hit him, whack him. Don't let him hang on to you so much. Sergey has got that wild look in his eyes like he's tired of being held. And he keeps pounding him to the ribs that time when he holds. And that's what you got to do if you want to stop a guy from hanging on. Now that time, Ed Johnson walked behind the back, but he didn't say anything at all about holding him. Oh, with a slick right hand inside. Back with the left hook. Mo Harris in the red trunks takes a light right hand behind him. See, Mo wants to hang on, and Lekovich doesn't want him hanging on. So Lekovich decides to pound him when he's holding him. And the referee says, hey, don't hit him in the back. So Lekovich got up against it here. He, Tries to shrug him off. Round three. Lagovich having a much better round here in round number three than he had in the second round. No catches to the short crisp. Left hand inside. It does no damage to the big strong Lagovich. Lagovich cracks him with the left hook and the right hand right back to tie it up inside. Mo is a slick sort of fighter. He knows a lot to do. And he's a little bit more effective as Lagovich if he started pounding the back of Mo Harris every time that Harris grabs him. Lagovich would like to throw that big right hand uppercut inside, but he hasn't thrown it yet. And that's what he really needs to do. So he catches him with the left hand. A little bit of puffiness by the right eye of Lagovich. Nice combination of punches that time by Harris with less than a minute to go in the third round. Harris uh, doubles with his left hand upstairs. Straight right hand lead. Langevich tries to make it pay. Langevich holds the hands high as Mo comes in. Harris is a slick fighter. He knows a lot of tricks, and Legovich bends down. His corner is calling for the uppercut. There it is, a nice slick uppercut. And he's got some nice power with that. He should use it for His right uppercut can be very, very effective. And all he has to do is work inside that outstretched left hand on Mo Harris, and he can land the right hand uppercut. Harris holds him off with the left hand. He's a good boxer, slick boxer. And again, they're wild. Mo walks it backwards again. We're in the closing. Well, is the bell now in the third round. That was a better round for Lykovich, especially in the first half of the round. You gotta forget the right to the head. Yeah. Right to the body. Right uppercut when he's close. Understand? Yeah. You gotta use that jab. <laughs> you ain't jabbing him. Every time you jab him, he's here. But you're not jabbing. You come on. Come on, give me, give me some. Trying to act like Rocky Marciano, man. Get out there and use a jab. Yeah. Okay? Bow! Bow! 
and then right to body, left hook. Don't let him tie you up. You yeah. letting him tie you up. Okay. You pull loose and hit him. Okay, once okay. Uh, a much you know, better Scott round, was though. calling for the uppercut, and his, uh, with the time he attempts it pretty good. We've got this for you here. See, and it comes off the jab this time, and there it is there. Now, he didn't quite get him, but that's the idea, and that's what Scott Audrey wants him to do. That can be very punishing. The problem was he wasn't in proper position for that. Jab, he got a right uppercut. No right to the off head. the right okay, shoulder. Was the right uppercut, not off the left shoulder. If you're off the left shoulder. Granted, he can't see it coming, but it's very hard to land because all he has to do to slip that is turn his left shoulder toward you, and you'll miss it. If you're off the other shoulder and you throw that right hand, you're going to nail him right in the chin. All right, here we go. Round number four. Let's see if Lekovic can be more active with that jab that Scott Audrey was calling for. And if he is, you'll see his right hand more effective, too. He taps it with the right hand. as a short right hand that he got inside. See, Harris knows exactly what to do with this powerful guy. Grab and walk him backwards. So it's kind of the way a smaller guy has a fight of Mike Tyson. When you get inside, you grab. Don't let him have the power shots inside. And Mo knows that. See, you can't have power when you bag on your heels, and that's what he's trying to do to Lagovic. And what Scott Audrey wants Lagovic to do is to come with the hook or the uppercut inside. And that's what he did that time, just then. Now, short, nice uppercut here is what he's looking to land. And Sergey throws his punches wide. And, and that's a habit that, you know, he needs to work more on. And when he breaks that, he's going to be a much better fighter. But he's such a big, strong guy. The problem with big, strong guys are when they fight guys that have less ability, those big, powerful, looping hands knock everybody out. But when you're in the with a class of a Mo Harris, they, they, you know, these guys are just too slick to be gobbled up by big, wide punches like that. There's a looping right hand that time. Taking it to the unit land. And they like that. Lekovic inside, deep to the body, left hand upstairs, and Mo felt that one. A lot of punches being thrown by Lekovic. Now see, he's in the wrong position to land the right hand. He's got to get off that other shoulder. He's a little bit too much off the left shoulder. If he was sliding, if he got his body down the other way, he'd be in position to land the big right hand. See, he's working off the left shoulder of Harrison. He wants to slide that just a half step to his left and let that right hand fly, and he'll knock this guy out. See, he's not in position for the right hand. He's landing the left, all right. He ducks underneath it. He's in great position for the left hook. And Mo, Mo, you know, this guy's a slick street fighter, too. He goes to the right hand lead. He gets back with a nice combination of his own. And then a clubbing shot by Blankovic. See, Sergey now is in a war that he doesn't need to be in. Harris is very, very tough and a very good boxer. And Lekovic is a bit frustrated by this guy's ability and his inability to hurt him. Lekovic showing some you know, courage here because things aren't really going his way and he just keeps throwing punches, which is a sign of a good fighter. Lekovic bangs the body that time. Now he needs to get some movement throw the right hand. But he does and he lets the guy get down. And of course, that's still knocked down. Lekovic pushed him down. That uh, is indicative for me that maybe his legs are weakening just a bit. Or did he just let Lagovic just push him down and catch a bit of breathing? And that's a good Lagovic round. Kicking legs out, man. Huh? 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 Pull yourself together, man. Pull yourself together. What's the matter? Go be a man. Where's it? Right here. Oh, yeah, he got his, he his got last time coach, out, he was stopped in the first round by Henry Ackerman back in June stop, stop of uh, 2001. But uh, he told me it's just one of those deals where Henry just caught him. He wasn't one of Look at this up against the ropes. And look at these guys. They're battling. And Mo Harris landed some of the best shots. Look at that clubbing shot by Lekovic. And the action continues. A left hook gets through. That was one of the best series and best flurries and best combination and best action for Harris throughout the course of the fight. But most of the rest of the round, I thought Lykovic won, so I gave him the fourth round. Now, here we go to round number five in Atlantic City, New Jersey. The judges, by the way, are George Hill, John Porteridge, and John Riley. This is round number five. It's scheduled for ten. 
Mike Evans turns around and started fighting as a softball for a minute, and Harris took advantage of that in our end. Time he gets cracked with a pretty good right hand, and Harris and spun around got his attention. Harris seemed to get some sort of a second win, and like if he jumped on his toes, now he backs up for the three times on the fourth to fight. Oh, it comes Harris looking to land the big shot. Mikeovich sits on the ropes and lets him come in and bites him in and tries to counter him. Sergey has an abrasion in his forehead to the right side, an abrasion under his right eye. Catches him with an uppercut inside. Looks like there's blood that might be a cut inside the mouth of Sergey. But neither fighter has been down. Nobody's been shaken in this fight. It's just a hard and sometimes sloppy fight. Harris can make you look awkward, and Mikeovic is slightly awkward to begin with. Farsad is out boxing. This is the best round of the fight for Harris. Harris had a couple of glowing moments in the short round, but this is the best round of sustain action. As the blood trickles from the mouth of Mikeovic. Mikeovic appears to be a slightly fatigued as they say that he lands the left hook. Harris plants himself, he's waiting, allowing Legovich to come in on him, which is a mistake. There's a straight right hand by Harris. And with a minute to go in this round, Harris is having a good round. Loads up the right hand, Legovich takes it, a lot of fun. Mikeovic just inviting him in, uppercut by Mo Harris. Mikeovic just sitting back in the ropes, he's fatigued right now. Standing flat-footed, and now Mikeovic, like the wounded animal of sorts, comes off the ropes. Mo Harris bangs him to the belly. And that takes a little wind out of the sails of Mikeovic. Harris having a terrific round here. some stage with all of these punches during the course of this round. And Lankovic has not used to that too often in his career. Harris up on his toes now. Lankovic comes in awkwardly. Both sets him up, cracks him to the left hand. Lankovic tries to counter with his own right hand and does no damage. Five seconds to go in the fifth round. The man ends it, and it's all over. That's the first good definitive round by Harris. He gets that round away. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? Huh? I don't see what I can. You don't see it. Second round. He didn't well, hurt you. Uh, if you're standing round. there on the ropes like, hey, this ain't Chuck's no more. You understand uh, yeah. me? Sergey, if you throw him punches, you win this fight. Yeah, yeah. Don't let him get his heart okay. back. Okay. 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 Didn't we talk about this a hundred times? Didn't yeah. we talk about this same moment? Yeah. Don't give this away, sir. Watch this on the ropes now. When Harris back, Sergey Legovich up against the ropes. Sergey just sits there. You have to go. Now, Sergey needs to be sliding down and getting away from him. Instead, he takes a crack to the right hand of the left temporal bone. And Harris loads up a right hand, a left hook that time. And now he's just looking to land a big power shot. And Sergey takes that on the forehead. That's a really good round for Mo Harris. And all of a sudden, Harris is back in this fight. It's a sixth round, and I've got only a point separating the two. And in the last fight, by the way, the same judges are scoring it, and they end that Larry Donald James Stan fight a whole lot closer than what I am. So this fight may be even closer than I have it, too, because at least one of the judges doesn't see it the same way. Big, strong left hook landed by Harris. Harris loads up the right hand back. Lankovic has got some problems with this guy now. For the first time in his career, he's been a guy that's really standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. And while Mo Harris has, you know, 12 losses on his career record, they've come against guys like Larry Holmes. You know, Richard Frazier early in his career. Scott Lopez. They're not exactly household names. But, you know, the Von Bean, he once fought in Atlanta for the World Heavyweight Champion against Evander Holyfield. These are the type of opponents that Mo's been in with. They're a whole lot better than the names that you'd see on the list of victories that Lankovic has. So, again, as I pointed out earlier, this is a step up in class. Again, Lankovic step up to the class of Mo Harris. He's doing the best he can, but Harris is beating him in the sixth round. 
And if he wins this six round, I get this fight dead even. Blankovich prods forward. He walks into a left uppercut by Harris. Harris is landing many more clean shots now than he did in the first couple of rounds of the fight. Blankovich looks a bit lethargic right now, like he's been hurt. Like some of those blows that Harris has landed are taking a toll. Harris is looking quicker as he lands a glancing, though punishing left hook. Harris has got confidence as he goes with a combination of punches. Blankovich looks awkward as he comes forward. Harris bounces around to his left, looking to throw the right hand. Pulls him up, nice right hand that time, cracked us out of the head of Likovic. And the left hook. And Likovic has got some problems with this guy now. He's let him back into the fight. And Harris has got some confidence. Trying to hunt him down, and he resorts to his old habits with a wild right hand. And Harris is slick enough to get away from it. This is a sixth round of a scheduled ten round affair. Either guy has been down, and Harris has been coming on the last couple of rounds. Nice job with that left jab in the face of Likovic. Likovic really hasn't landed much of anything in this sixth round. Likovic is showing some exhaustion in those legs. It's out of 20 seconds to go in the sixth. Hook gets through. Likovic wants to throw the big powerful shot, but his arms look very, very heavy to me right now. But Sergey's got the look on his face with both his eyes beginning to close a very fatigued fighter as the bell ending the sixth round from Atlantic City I've got this fight dead even now okay huh. seven coming seven coming check it out Maurice Harris so, so. Sucker, yeah. yeah. look good. This is a seventh round coming. You win it every round. Knock him out. So why don't you get out here and do that? Because tomorrow morning you're gonna wake up and say, "Fucked up." There ain't no tomorrow. You know what I mean? There's no tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's only today. It is only today, Sergey. Yeah, yeah. You understand? Right yeah, now, understand. it's him between you and me being a world champion. Suck it Come on, right. well, Scott Luke, Audrey on. trying to get a fire in the fire. Sergey Langovic. Langovic is being tested now. This is his toughest test in his career. Sergey Langovic went 12 rounds against Friday Ahonadia, but he won most of the rounds convincingly in that fight. He won Friday, hung in there pretty well for the NABA title. But other than that, against Cedric Fields, he had to go eight rounds. Big Cedric Fields, not exactly a real skilled heavyweight, but a huge guy. And he went eight rounds with Daryl Dixon and Bradley Rohn. We're in the seventh round. Harris has got a lot more confidence now in the seventh round. And again, I have the fight score dead even right now. Nobody's been down. Nobody's been shaken. But Sergey has been lethargic the last two rounds, and Harris has been coming on. Maybe he's got a second win because Scott Audrey really tried to juice him up in between rounds. But look at some of these uh, things he's doing. He's kind of looking off into the crowd, and like he's lost some sort of concentration. But what it is is the fatigue and the frustration of being hit by shots. And this one of guys going to suck it up. Bags him with that right hand behind the back. And now Harris is going to get back to using his jab and boxing. Right, come on, come on, turn around. And Ed Johnson keeps telling Lincoln, don't turn your back to him, turn around. Very, very dangerous in a boxing ring to turn your back. But, you know, when you make mistakes like that, that indicates to me that you're very fatigued and that your concentration factor isn't there. And that's where I feel the zone that Sergey Legovic is in right now. A big, strong guy is going to come back from the adversities. And I think he cracked Harris with a pretty good right hand. And now Harris complaining that he had that glove in his face. So the fight is got a little bit dirty, or should I say, it's more, more sloppy than dirty right now. That foot landed, cracked right on top of the nose of Legovic. 
Mikovic in the green trunks. It's Maurice Harris in the red trunks. Inside a minute to go, and that's a slip over the foot as Mikovic is showing that. In spite of the fact that you see a guy falling down like that, you know, his legs are starting to show some fatigue. In spite of the fact it wasn't a knockdown. Mikovic right on top, he's frustrated. He's looking very awkward right now. Sergey is like he's on automatic right now. He's just the automatic bionic fighter, but nothing is going his way. Mo Harris is out boxing him. He's dictating the pace. Harris hasn't had as good a seventh round as he had five and six. And Sergey is doing everything he can to spin it around. And it's tough for him. You get two black guys as Sergey. Big right hand loaded up by Maurice Harris. And there's the bell ending the seventh round. That's a very close round and very difficult to score. It was better for Lekovic than five and six, but I don't know if he did enough to win it. I don't know. You don't want to win. If you don't want to win, I can't help you win. You keep throwing to the head. We knew you weren't going to be able to get him to the head. This referee, why are you looking at this referee? You think this referee is going to help you? No. Huh? Is the referee going to help you? It's what? Don't fucking touch me. Who don't touch you? Die. So what? Watch Mo with the left hand, uh, Harris, boom, right there, right on top of that eye. And Legovic has two black eyes. He can't see it real clear because there's small muscles below his eyes. You want him to fight. Just get the jab on him and circle the guy. The guy's a basic boxer, man. He can't do nothing with you. You in shape? You in good shape, man. All the mouth be put in Lens camp. Let's go to work here. Where the mouth be? Where the mouth And right now, as you go to eight the round coming, eighth round, round that's when all on. these rounds that Maurice Harris put in and Lennox Lewis's camp can begin to show. This guy's been sparring with Lennox for the past four weeks. So, as he told me yesterday when I talked to him, he's in the best shape of his life. And if he is, in fact, in the best shape of his life, he may be able to lose to eight, nine, and ten and beat Blankovic. Blankovic needs to do something dramatic to turn this around. He's got to catch him with an uppercut. He's got to put some pressure on him. He can't rely on that big right hand upstairs. You heard his corner say, we talked about the fact that he's going to be able to hit him in the head. You've got to bang his body. you got to set up your shot and then drop your right hand hand. And on top of that, he's in the wrong position to let his right hand anyway. He needs to be off that left shoulder of Harris, and he doesn't realize that. He's in position now, but he's in too tight. So what happens is Harris on his foot. Harris up on his toes. And where's the uppercut of Legovich in the last couple of rounds? Has it thrown in a This is round number eight in Atlantic City. I'm Bob Sheridan. You're watching King Vision around the world. I think you can be with us wherever you're watching. Sergey Legovich has only get handled with Maurice Harris. A couple of good left hands gets through. Harris jabs with that left hand in the face of Legovich. He's looking to land the right hand. This round is going. This round is going. Right hand is through. Right hand draw of Legovich. Legovich just stands there like it had no effect. He's that jab again. But the thing is, he shakes his head. Nope, he's not doing it. And he's saying he can't drag him down yet. It's the other guy holding him. Sergey chasing him down. He's going to scream him profusely at him to jump on this guy, Harris. Get on him. Sergey keeps turning him back now. And John's going to. Keep the chin, y'all. Got to keep the chin. All right, let's go. Come on, Bob. Harris says he's throwing me around. Harris holds him. Sergey tries to shake loose, but Sergey does grab around the head. Now both guys separate fairly clean. And Maurice says, he's grabbing around the head. And Eddie Johnson is a quick man. Look at this box. Uh, Lankovic looks a lot better in this eighth round than he looked in. Better in this eighth round than he looked in five, six, and seven. And Harris is in the process of letting Lankovic sneak back into this fight if he doesn't do something. 30 seconds to go. The seventh round was a very even round, and this is a very even round. There's the power of Legovic, and right back comes Harris, so the power didn't hurt him any. It's out of 20 seconds to go in the eighth. Legovic waits on the ropes, and he's going to let Harris steal this round. Very, very even. I don't know how the judges are going to see it. 
good shape. Where was Kapow here? You're in good shape. You're in good shape, son. Good shape. Maurice, a little more body punches, and this guy is gone. He's ready to get out of here now. You heard him twice in that round. What am I? You heard him twice in that round. Breathe deep. Breathe deep. Here we go again. Come on, this way to look like that. Who the man? You the man? Come on, take this again. Come on, baby. Suck it up. Maurice, he's gone. This guy is gone. He's got this guy's finished. Get him up out of there. Jab, jab, and turn him. Jab, jab, come. Jab, jab, and turn him. The same way we did in camp. When the guy reach for you, take the half step in with the right hand. Left hook is there for you. You understand? Now, like it. Sergey, you need to quit hit, trying to hit him in the head, get him to the body, and lift him up. You gotta bend your knees and lift him up. And next time I see you in the ropes, I'm gonna come kick you in your ass. What is that? Go after him. He's finished. If, as I have a my scorecard, the judges gave it to Harris. Harris, for the first time, is out front in this fight. This is round number nine of a scheduled ten-round affair. Harris up on his toes. Likovich wants to get more aggressive. He's on his toes now, but a big crashing left hook landed on the hands of Harris. Pace is slowed down, but look at this. It's beginning to pick up a bit as Harris goes to the jab. Likovich just plods forward without throwing anything like he's really mad. He says something to Harris, but Harris is in over this territory from Newark, New Jersey, the tough streets of New Jersey. They're not going to be intimidated by a place called Belarus that he doesn't even know where it is. Oh, to many people, including myself. He's not going to be intimidated by the bottom line. Big right hand by Harris, digging to the body. Harris in the process of stealing this fight from Sergey. Sitting on the ropes against Harris is not a good idea because it's at this stage where every time he gets nailed by Harris, he's going to do something dramatic. And he walks in the look at him. Has been knocked down, knocked up, and the first time he's on his feet. And you take a look at the two fighters, and you can tell who the beaten fighter is. That was a real, real good effort for Maurice Harris. So Lykovich, who stepped up in class to meet Maurice Harris, watch this. Watch the shot. We're going to give you two of the straight right hand, the big off the left. Is what sent him reeling right into the ropes. And down he goes. Wow. And we'll show it to you from overhand. Watch, watch the left hand. Straight right. There's the left hook. You see that head spin? That's what caused the knockout. And down he goes, and he couldn't recover. It appeared that he was clear, but he just couldn't recover. So it's a knockout victory. But Mo so Harris in move. the ninth round will get the official timing from our ring announcer, Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of one minute, 31 seconds of round number nine. Our referee in charge, Ed Johnson, reaches the count of 10. The winner by way of knockout, Maurice Mo Harris.